everyone, this is Lucy from Neo Rouge 37 and a lot of you have requested for me to make a video on study tips but to be honest, there's a lot of study tips out there. So I thought I'd break it down and make different videos for each segment of studying because I feel like there's a lot of different aspects to studying. Um, for example, there's like note taking, there's homework, there's review, there's things that you shouldn't do, um, stuff like that. So keep an eye out for the other ones. I will link them down below in the info box as well as at the end of the episode and there might be some links all around. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> so I thought I'd start off with note taking for today because I know a lot of you have um, trouble with taking notes and for me this is one of my hardest challenges because I'm a very visual learner so everything that the teacher teaches in class if it's not visual like a PowerPoint I honestly probably won't remember it and that's one of the biggest challenges for me in class when the teacher is talking I have to either write down everything the teacher says or I won't be able to remember it later just because I'm not an audio learner these are some of the strategies that I've come up with to deal with that and hopefully this will help all of you different types of learners out there um, not just you visual learners. If your teacher assigns um, reading from the textbook you should definitely take your own notes whether you're taking notes in the textbook itself if you own it or um, like on a in a notebook whatever you do definitely take your own notes because if you just read through the assignment you're probably not going to remember what you just read and this way you can understand and find like the most important points that you should remember later on especially when you review for the test this pertains particularly to like um, college courses but as well to like high school courses your notes from class are probably the most important thing um, to study for a test because your teacher is probably going to teach you the most important things that you need to know for the test. So if you can understand your notes from lecture, you should be fine. I find that the easiest way to do well in a class is to just understand the notes that you took from lecture. So you're probably wondering, how do I make good notes? So first of all, you should one, read over all the material that you were assigned, and two, make brief and concise bullet points about what you've just read. And you don't want to just make bullet points for every little piece of detail. Um, typically, the most important piece of information will either be summarized in like the introduction of the textbook or like the intro of the chapter or the conclusion of the chapter or um, what I do is I typically look at the topic sentence of like a paragraph or section and that typically will summarize the most important point for you so that's what I do. Honestly the little details probably aren't that important unless your teacher says you have to know them. Try and keep in mind that your notes, you're probably going to take a look at them later on um, and you might not remember everything you write down. So you want to keep your notes pretty simple, easy to read and understand, but also filled with like all the information that you think you're going to need later on to do well on the test. Okay, so one thing I regret in high school is not starting early on my notes because I get really lazy. I might like for the first few days of class I'll you know do all the reading, I'll like take all the notes, um, but then later on I'll just slack off and to be honest that doesn't help anyone. So a way to prevent that is to just make yourself take notes. Also another thing, you want to make your own notes because I know online you can look for notes that other people have taken for like textbooks and classes that you might be using um, or taking. That's not the best idea. It might be good to take a look at other people's notes because they might have um, summarized things better than you might have, but it's good to take your own notes because that way you're learning in the process of taking the notes and this will help you memorize things better. But that being said, there's a lot of good resources online so um, it's always good to look up other people's notes as well. Um, this is helpful if you're like sick and you can't make class. Um, you can always like look for notes that people have taken for your class or um, ask a friend if they have notes. And you can always compare notes with other people as well because everyone writes down different things and this way you get to see important things that you might have missed. In lecture. Another important thing is that you should look up terms that you don't know 
um, just have like a dictionary or usually in the back of a textbook there will be definitions as well and this is helpful if you're taking a class with a lot of like um, jargon and vocabulary that is specific to that class only and that way you can remember what the word means especially if you're like reviewing for the final there are a ton of methods on how to take notes like the Cornell note style or whatever but it's honestly up to you whether or not you like write down all your notes in a notebook or on flashcards or on a laptop like I do it all depends on your style but I personally recommend using a laptop um, there's a ton of different applications like Microsoft Word has this um, type of note-taking um, application that comes with Word and also I know people who use Evernote and other different kind of platforms um, something that I recommend if you are a visual learner is downloading Dragon Dictation I think that's what it's called but that's for the iPhone I think and I've never used it for a class but I want to so basically it records the lecture um, but it'll actually transcribe everything that was said in lecture down into words like physical words um, and this is great because then I can always go back and look at that instead of having to type down all my notes and um, if your teacher is a really fast talker, this might be really helpful for you. I'll leave a link for that down below so you guys can download that if you want to. So if you're wondering, this is a makeup look that I did and I actually recorded a video for it. So if you're interested in that, please click on the link somewhere over here and check that out. I entered it into the 17 Beauty Smarties contest and so if you could just go check that out I'd really appreciate it. So I hope that was really helpful for you guys. If you have any suggestions or comments, requests, whatever, please leave a comment down below and I reply to everything. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you next time. Bye! Hi everyone, this is Lucy from New York 37 and today I'm going to be doing the part two of my study tips series. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I want to take you might want to...